Good day, viewer. Many thanks for keeping a date with us on Agriculture Research Council of Nigerian Television, the station that keeps you abreast with opportunities in Nigerian agriculture sector and the efforts of the government and other active relevant stakeholders in the agricultural circle. My name is Joshua Ishaya. The Federal Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development recently held its 45th regular meeting in Joss, Plateau North Central Nigeria. The meeting was presided over by the Minister of Agriculture, Dr. Mohamed Mahmoud Abbekar, with the Minister of State for Agriculture, Mr. Faba Shahuri, as well as Permanent Secretary and Honorable Commissioners of Agriculture from 36 states and the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. Participants at the event were members of the National Assembly, Federal and State Minister of Agriculture, Department Agencies and Representatives of All Farmers Association of Nigeria, Women Organizations, Seed and Fertilizer Companies, Agro Input Dealers and Virtual Participants. Welcoming participants in the event and session, the Honorable Minister of State for Agriculture and Rural Development informed the August gathering the rationale behind the annual event on agriculture. Today, we are witnessing the unflinching support and determination of Plateau State Government in hosting the 45th National Council on Agriculture and Rural Development meeting here in Plateau State. I am convinced that this is an evidence of Plateau State Government's effort to take agriculture as one of its priority of ensuring food and nutrition security as well as job and wealth creation in the state and the country at large. It is on record that the climate condition of Plateau State virtually has been supporting the production of various agricultural commodities. Our sincere appreciation is to the Executive Governor of Plateau State, His Excellency, Governor Simon Lalong, and his team for the provision of conducive banner of the meeting and provision of necessary security arrangement for the event. The gesture by the Plateau State Government in hosting this meeting against all odds is indeed a demonstration of the continuation of the continued cooperation between the federal and the state government. The intensification of effort on commodity value chain development process as reflected in the theme for this year's council meeting is out of our desire to grow agriculture, diversify the economy, and ensure food security. Food security and empower citizenry through public-private partnership. As stakeholders, we hope to use infrastructure technology and entrepreneurship as veritable tools for exploring agricultural potentials, strengthening inter- and intrastate sectoral linkages, and empowering socioeconomic development in the country. As the stage was set for the plenary, the Vice President of All Farmers Association of Nigerian Afam Prince Olushagun Dasolu, His Royal Majesty Bong Gonjos Da Jacob Gangbuba, Country Program Manager, International Food Policy Research Institute, Dr. Heisen Ede, Food and Agriculture Organization, FO Country Representative in Nigeria, Honorable Minister of Water Resources, Mr. Godin Abu, Chairman House Committee on Agri Colleges and Institution Munir Baba and Agudi, and Chairman Senate Committee on Agriculture, Senator Muhammad Bima Enadi. Take a look. On behalf of all the farmers in Nigeria, we want to express our profound gratitude to the Federal Ministry of Agriculture for putting this uh, summit on for us to synergize and make sure that Agri take its prime place in Nigeria development. We thank you very much, Honorable Minister, sir, and the executive members 
of Plateau, the governor of Plateau, who is hosting this uh, farmers summit. However, we will want to say on behalf of farmers, which we represent here, that Nigeria, there is hunger in the land. We need to re-strategize and make sure that whatever thing that is put in place here is properly relayed in the field. There must be proper synergy between the federal government and the farmers and the state up to the local government. This morning, sir, as I was coming, farmers should be put in their prime place when it comes to agriculture. I feel proud that this conference is holding in just Plateau State, and that brings us a lot closer to the realities of agriculture and the importance of it. We know very well that the mainstay of every industrial, even industrialized nations is agriculture. And we must never allow it to play second fiddle. For this reason, we want to thank the Federal Ministry, Ministry of Agriculture for choos choosing Plateau for this conference. And the security that uh, our chief farmer has just spoken about, security of any nation starts first and foremost with economic security before physical security. But we have allowed for physical security to overwhelm us. And I want to use this moment to thank the governors of the northern Nigeria, ably led by our own governor, in the, the meeting in Kaduna with traditional rulers having adopted the fact that we need state police. And this will help give farmers the necessary protection. For this singular, I want to congratulate our governor for being at the head of that uh, 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 decision. And with that, you will know that farmers will be encouraged to go out because farmers have not really expressed themselves fully. Uh, let me say, the federal government has come up with a lot of programs to promote agriculture. But unfortunately, those of us that are charged with executing these programs have made sure that they fail. And Honorable Minister, when we meet again, and I hope we'll meet, we'll be able to present a paper from the Plateau State Council of Chiefs and Emirs on why federal government programs to do with agriculture fail. And I pray that you will give us the opportunity to come and express ourselves why they fail on the plateau. And it may mean or uh, throw light as to why they fail in other states too. I bring to you greetings on behalf of the International Food Policy Research Institute and the USID funded Feed the Future Nigeria Agriculture Policy Activity. To the Federal Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, on this occasion of the 45th meeting of the National Council on Agriculture and Rural Development. I congratulate the Federal Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development under the Honorable Minister's able leadership for a successful meeting which has graciously considered and approved several members towards repositioning the Nigerian agricultural sector. As a long-term collaborator with the ministry, we are pleased to be part of this occasion and honored to work closely with the ministry and other partners in generating and disseminating research findings to guide robust policy making in the sector. The Honorable Minister, sir, and distinguished participants. IFPRI is committed to the implementation and success of NATI, having played a significant role during its uh, development and launch. We hope to continue the collaboration with relevant stakeholders through policy guidance and support on the several emerging issues of 
post COVID uh, recovery and other shocks such as the international crisis like the U Ukraine Russia war. Conflict and insecurity has affected the agri sector, climate change, food system transformation for healthier diet, especially among most vulnerable groups. We would like, first and foremost, to commend the wonderful organization of this 45th regular meeting of the National Council uh, on Agriculture and Rural Development. We note with satisfaction outstanding progress that has been made in the last 12 months since we had the last such meeting. Particularly, we are pleased because during this period we have launched the long-awaited policy, which we call the NATIP, to guide the sector. But we have also noted increase in productivity on a range of commodities that the ministry has spearheaded in this country. We take note also that the agriculture census, which has been for a long time awaited, has finally taken off. And we believe that from now on we shall have current data that we can use in decision making. We want to add our voice to those who have done a lot in contributing to the progress and transformation of agriculture in this country. We had before me a farmer literally pushing himself to be recognized for the work that farmers do in this country. This shouldn't be the case. All of us should appreciate and understand the important role that farmers play in developing and transforming and feeding everybody in this country. This is a goodwill message by the Honorable Minister of Water Resources. On the occasion of the 45th National Council on Agri and Rural Development, held in Jos this day, 15 September 2022, I am particularly delighted to participate in the 45th Annual Regular Council on Agriculture and and rural development, which is tied to strengthening agricultural value chain development for food security and economic development. This, we know, is the highest forum where policies and decisions are made to guide the effective and efficient management and development of the sector in the country. I'd like to start by saying access to water, sanitation, and hygiene are basic human rights. But almost a third of the world's population do not have access to safe sanitation and hygiene services. It is vital to note that diarrhea is one of the highest health effects of poor sanitation and hygiene, which kills more children yearly, especially in the rural areas. According to the 2021 Wash Norm Report, access to sanitation in Nigeria stands at 46%. Why 48 million still practice open defecation? The Federal Ministry of Water Resources has been leading the drive to ensure that Nigeria meets the water sanitation and hygiene indicators for the Sustainable Development Goal 6, which is aimed at ensuring availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all by 2030. Some of the initiatives in, in this regard include the National Action Plan for the Revitalization of the Wash Sector, declaration of a state of emergency in the sector, and a strong statement to end open defecation in the country, among others. The campaign to end open defecation in Nigeria was launched in November 2019, tagged the Clean Nigeria Use the Toilet campaign, which was informed by Nigerians' unfortunate position on the global ladder of countries with the highest number of persons practicing open defecation, estimated at 46 million persons. The campaign is aimed at mobilizing high-level political support, resources, and the entire populace toward building a new culture of safe sanitation. And the role of the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development in this campaign cannot be overemphasized. The Clean Nigeria Use the Toilet campaign is backed by Executive Order 009, which was signed by the President, which highlights the need for provision of adequate sanitation facilities in public places 
inclusion of sanitation facilities in developmental projects, and enforcement. It will interest you to know that the World Toilet Organization in Singapore recently announced Nigeria as the host of the 2022 World Toilet Summit. This is a unique global platform that brings together sanitation stakeholders to share, learn, and collaborate, and to address the global sanitation. Ladies and gentlemen, the 45th Annual Regular Council on Agriculture and Rural Development provides a veritable platform in drawing attention of farmers to the human tragedy caused by lack of access to safe drinking water, sanitation and best hygiene practices, especially in the rural areas. It is on record that only 7% of people in the rural areas in Nigeria have access to sanitation. What that means is that 93% of our people in the rural areas do not have access and so we implore our Federal Ministry of Agri and Road Development that promoting the Clean Nigerian Campaign and including the, uh, the, the construction of toilet in all development projects in the rural areas will increase access leading to our farmers having a healthier life and which will in turn uh, accelerate uh, the agricultural value chain. I would like to start by thanking and praising God Almighty who has made it possible for all of us to be here to witness this important event. I bring you greetings from the leadership and the entire members of the Ninth Senate. It gives me great joy to be here with you all at this August event. Let me start by commending and expressing my delight along with that of the leadership of the National Assembly other stakeholders here present and for the organizers for sustaining this event for the past 45 years or so. Let me also commend the organizers once again for choosing the theme for this year's meeting, which is strengthening agricultural value chain development process for food security and economic development. In view of the theme, I would like to commend the Honorable Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, my brother, my partner from the executive arm of government, Dr. Mohamed Mahmoud Abakar, on his new initiative, National Agricultural Technology and Innovation Policy, NATIP, which will drive the value chain. Honorable Minister and Your Excellency, let me say God has done what He has done to us as a country, Nigeria. Our problem is yet to understand what He has done to us, especially with the ecological conditions we have to promote agriculture in Nigeria. I want to give a specific example of Plateau State or North Central. The conditions that can allow us to grow a lot of things. If you talk of wheat, you talk of potato, it's still in the North Central, you talk of yam. I said I have been to UK, I saw a small liam of my just hand size costing almost seven to ten pounds. I try to understand how do we how do this yam and potato and sweet potato come to UK. So I was told it was coming through Ghana. And I learned most of the yams emanate from Nigeria. So, I was trying to understand even our own laws, our own policies. I have seen the foreign affairs came here, the water resources came here, we all came to speak English, but we don't do the right thing. If they have a desk officer in the foreign affairs, 
that will see this is going on. What have they done to mitigate our Nigerian farmers to take their yam to Europe? Even without the value addition. So we must be conscious of ourselves as edits or professions or whatever we call ourselves. Whatever we are doing, we are the problem of the country. If we don't do the right thing, nothing will grow. The farmers, smallholder farmers are doing their best. But we must give them the latitude to operate to the maximum. Apart from goodwill messages, the Minister of Agriculture, Rural Development, Mohammed Mahmoud Abubakar, highlighted in his keynote address to the meeting various strategies and program of action by the government of President Mohammed Buhari administration to what revitalize agricultural sector in Nigeria. It is my pleasure to address you at the 45th regular meeting of the National Council on Agriculture and Rural Development today, which is an annual platform for the conceptualization and review of policies, programs, and projects in the sector. The 45th NCAT meeting serves as my first council on engagement with all stakeholders today in this sector since my redeployment from Minister of Environment to Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development in September 2021, making it exactly one year today. Agriculture, as you all know, is certainly a key sector in the country as it is not only feeding millions of people, but also contribute towards the overall development of the economy. It has been consistently prioritized by successive administrations, especially this particular administration, towards ensuring food security and attaining national development plans. Indeed, Nigeria is endowed with a total of 79 million hectares of agricultural land, with only 44% being cultivated. The nation also has 267 billion cubic meters of fresh surface water and 58 billion cubic meters underground water, with 37 billion cubic meters only stored in dams. Annual rainfall in Nigeria is within 300 to 4,000 milliliters. Conversely, potential irrigable area is about 3.14 million hectares, with less than 7% utilized presently. Recent report from the National Bureau of Statistics indicate that the agricultural sector tapped, topped the chart in a survey of seven sectors identified to have contributed to the Nigerian economy in the second quarter of 2022. To improve on performance, we are strengthening the linkage between uh, research, agriculture, and industry by intensifying our commodity value chain uh, development process. This is being guided by the new framework of the National Agricultural Technology and Innovation Policy, NATIP 2022 to 2027, launched in, the, in August 2022, which seeks to modernize the agricultural sector in line with the changing global food systems and supply chains. Actually, NATIP is the ministry response to the present administration agenda of diversifying the nation's economy from petroleum base to agriculture and solid minerals. Plateau State, the home of tourism situated on the plains and rocks in the north central Nigeria, declared the 45th session National Council on Agriculture. The governor Simon Bakola launched torch and waste to improve agricultural activities. Plateau State is an agrarian state with potential to feed the nation and to do so in style, using its exotic crops that are not grown in other parts of the country. There is no better time than now for stakeholders to convene a meeting to brainstorm on the best strategies and policies which ta to tackle hunger, which is threatening the general well-being of Nigeria. I therefore use this opportunity to express my gratitude for the patronage and the collaboration 
that Plateau State has enjoyed from the federal government over time, particularly under the administration of President Muhammadu Buhari. Outside hosting the National Council on Agriculture and Rural Development, the Honorable Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development was in Plateau State last year to flag of wheat production and declare the state as a center of excellence for wheat production in the country due to its suitability to produce three cycles in a year. The minister was also here to, on, on behalf of the president, flag up the distribution of farm inputs to the farmers nationwide. Furthermore, we have received attention and support in the process of implementing the National Livestock Transformation Program, NLTP. We are grateful. We are grateful that even recently, the minister sent a team handling the NLTP to come and assess the level of preparedness for implementation of the program. This program is so clear to, dear to us because it contains strategies that will tackle the farmer harder clashes occasioned by, by unending crisis that has brought pains and retrogression in the state. As one of the pilot states, we are optimistic that the program will bring economic prosperity to our people. Agricultural activities are not limited to planting and cultivation strategy only. There were sad attractions which added glamour. The event witnessed cultural displays and dances, entertainers thrilled the guests with dances and songs which ended up by inviting the Governor of Plateau State, Simon Bakul, along and the Executive Secretary of Agriculture Research Council of Nigeria, Professor Hamid Agarba Sharbatu, to dance with them. <laughs> The event was crowned up with a dinner to ease the stress and bustle of the week. Comedians and legendary Plateau State artist Alta was on stage to entertain the guests. The 45th National Council on Agriculture has witnessed a total of 1,422 participants both physically and virtually. The meeting also considered and adopted a total of 61 substantive memoranda that were tailored towards sustainable agriculture and 17 memoranda were noted and value chain. The 46th meeting is expected to hold in Patakot next year. On behalf of the crew members who made this program possible, my name is Joshua Ishaya, thanking you for being a part of this. Stay with us.